this year, 2017, um, I would like to give you some spiritual ideas or some spiritual thoughts at the beginning of this uh, of this trip. And um, uh, we do uh, we do this uh, historical explanations and uh, visitings with many groups for the last uh, 10 years and the German Protestant Church, the so-called uh, EKD, uh, the Protestant Church in Germany, Evangelische Kirche Deutschlands, EKD, Evangelical Church, it is, it is a Lutheran Protestant uh, Church. Um, they uh, published so-called um, um, texts to prepare the celebration of the Jubilee. Uh, at the request that the academic advisory board of the Luther decade has specified and um, the significance of the upcoming Reformation anniversary in form of 23 statements and I want to give you now just uh, three of these um, of these statements to, to listen to um, to these perspectives perspectives so the development of the perspectives for the Reformation anniversary <coughs> shall become the foundation for an appropriate organization of the decade and especially the anniversary which on the basis of the exploration of history will take account of the present context of society, of the present church and religion in Germany and Europe. So please uh, listen. The Reformation is an event of global significance. The changes that it produced had effects across all continents. What proceeded from it is therefore not just of national but of European and worldwide relevance. So the effects that the Reformation produced are perceived and valued from various standpoints. To those who adhere, who adhere to these perspectives, preparations for the Reformation Jubilee of 2017 offer an opportunity and a challenge to engage in processes of mutual understanding of its results. Inasmuch as the Reformation precipitated the breakup of the Western Church and gave rise to contradiction as well as uh, commonality among the leading confessions it produced, it made religious <laughs> cultural differentiation and pluralism into a signature of Europe. So at the same time, this development towards pluriformity compelled Europe to draft regulations that would govern confessionally homogeneous societies and later on the coexistence of separate and contradicting confessions or confessional cultures, of course. But tolerance and reciprocal respect had to be established even where confessions claimed exclusive truth for their uh, real beliefs. And this process began, of course, in, in Germany with the so-called religious peace of Augsburg in 1555. Just uh, to this uh, to this point, um, and as we as we travel, as we uh, are together as as Christian people to um, to listen and to follow um, yeah, Christ's message to to all people in the world, I just want to to add to this more or less theoretical thinkings uh, just. Um, some phrases from the from the Holy Gospel uh, to remember the good reliance to the good message coming from Jesus Christ to all people um, to follow his steps in all different cultures. 
And uh, if you allow me, I would um, read you a uh, passage of the Gospel of St. Luke in the sixth chapter. Um, the verses uh, 37 to 43. It is um, after the uh, after the, um, the text of loving for enemies. It is told us in the New Testament and the Gospel: Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Jesus also told them this parable. Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fail into a pit? A student is not above his teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like his, his teacher. Why do you look at the speck of, the, of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, brother, let me take the speck of, uh, out of your eye, when you yourself fail to see the plank in your own eye. You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. And at least no good tree bears bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from prayers. The good man brings good things out of the, the good stored up in his heart, and the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For out of the overflow of his heart, his mouth speaks. And I think we'll find many good sentences in the, in the gospel uh, to help Christian people to listen to each other, to, to follow the, the way of life. They, they try to share and to come together and to celebrate a good Reformation Jubilee. So, best wishes to you and hope we will have a, a blessed day together in the next days. Thank you.